welcome. Thank you so much for watching. This show is all about giving you insights and showcasing brands that help you to live your best life and give you confidence. As always, I want to kickstart your morning with some motivational advice to help you to feel inspired and energized to start your day. Today, I want to talk about avoiding putting people on a pedestal solely based on their status or image. The truth is, when we avoid admiring people for solely their status or image or what materialistic things they possess, we then can open the door to being truly inspired by those individuals that bring value based on their insights and their service to the world. Maybe it's admiring someone like Canadian icon Dr. David Suzuki, who is passionate about educating people on climate change. Or it's Oprah Winfrey, who created a platform to inspire and help transform people's lives. When we replace our admiration from basing it to status and image, and instead replace it with role models that bring true value and inspiration by their life, work, and actions, we are also reminded for our own ability to be of service to the world and have our own positive impact. The truth is, status and image are temporary and over time can be taken away. Job titles and materialistic things are just that, surface level. The true value we bring as people is our ability to share our knowledge, talents, and kindness to the world. Those things which can never be taken away from us and have a lasting impact. This is what transforms and touches lives for generations to come. As John Quincy quotes, if your actions inspire others to dream more, learn more, do more, and become more, you are a leader. Stay tuned. Coming up after the break. You know, we're in the midst of a pandemic. Um, so I want to talk about how Domum Gym can help people because most people are sitting at home for multiple hours or working from home. So sometimes gyms are closed. So let's talk about how Domum Gym can help them. Right. So you know, we kind of come from the approach of several things. One, uh, we know that gyms, uh, brick and mortar gyms are gonna continue to exist. And uh, certainly we're not looking to replace that. However, uh, since the pandemic started, and even now as there are, you know, whether there are different variants of the virus that come in and come out and that are keeping people from sometimes, you know, wanting to go outside, we feel like there's a market for that. So Domo Gym is supposed to, you know, fulfill that time when you don't want to go to the gym, uh, not just in these times with the pandemic, but also to uh, in other times when, like, you know, I brought up my wife and bring up other people uh, who are too busy to incorporate, you know, going to a brick and mortar gym in their schedule. And, you know, the stats uh, say that 42 to 62 percent of uh, people have mentioned uh, that they uh, will incorporate some sort of home workout uh, permanently to their uh, you know, fitness regimen. Wardrobe provided by H&M. Next up on the show, we have the founder and CEO of Domum Gym, Luke Mercado Peace. Domum Gym is a social media and video platform that provides virtual fitness videos and allows fitness content creators to produce their own content. Luke, thank you so much for being on the show today. How are you doing? Oh, I'm doing outstanding, Dariel. How are you? I am doing very well, thank you. I'm excited to speak to you today. Uh, so let's talk about Domum Gym. Um, I know it all started uh, Christmas of 2020 when you created a playlist, a uh, fitness playlist for your wife. So let's talk about it. Sure, so you know, we have a unique tradition in our household. We usually like to ask each other what they, what the other person wants for Christmas. That way, no one's disappointed, right? So, um, I asked my wife, "What would you like for Christmas last year?" And she told me that she really wanted something that was going to help her work out. Uh, that uh, you know, she's a, a stay-at-home mom, and uh, she doesn't get as much time to work out uh, as she would like, especially with our our toddler, you know, running around. Mm, uh, awesome. So, um, I was thinking. You know, how about I do this? How about I create a YouTube playlist of workout videos that we can do for a year? And uh, that's been really amazing. We really loved it. But we've also discovered things that are not the most ideal for working out with YouTube. One of which is, you know, when you have a free account with YouTube, even though you're working out, there are ads everywhere. And uh, <laughs> ads can be great and cool, don't get me wrong, but uh, it's not very fun to, you know, do a plank exercise, you know, for 60 seconds 
And then in the middle of those 60 seconds, you know, a two minute ad pops up out of nowhere. Yeah. You pretty much had to quit the, uh, the exercise, uh, you know, not cheating, but you know, taking a break. <laughs> so that's kind of what led me to thinking, you know what, how about we create a website that is nothing but fitness videos and is uh, the basic uh, version of the website is completely free, but there aren't any ads that play on it at all. And you know, that's how the idea, one of the reasons why Dome Gym was born. Very nice, and I, I totally understand it because for me, I would look look at fitness videos on YouTube and of course the commercials would come on and in the middle of a, a nice workout when the commercial comes on, it gets really annoying, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so I, I totally understand that. Let's talk about the name. It really stands out to me. Why did you pick that name? So uh, to be really frank, uh, Home Gym was already taken, right? So uh, that's kind of what I originally wanted to name it. I wanted to name it Home Gym, but that was a name that was already taken. And I wanted to come up with a clever name that would connect folks with, you know, fitness, but also the home, you know, where we feel most comfortable, right? And uh, I was thinking, you know, we were talking before this, uh, this interview started a little bit about other languages, uh, Latin, of course, uh, you know, we uh, we deal with that a good bit in our house here. Domum is Latin for home. And of course, gym is originally a Latin word, too, for a gymnasium. So you combine those two together, and that's how we came up with the name Domum Gym. Oh, very clever. I like that. <laughs> Let's talk a little bit about your professional experience. Sure. So I originally, as I'm sure... Uh, you were informed. I originally wanted Daryl to do a little bit of what you're doing now. You know, I went to college to become a sportscaster, and you know that was my really big passion and dream. And I remember yeah, staying up in high school and in college when I was watching games, uh, whether it's football or basketball or you know baseball or what have you, and I would narrate, you know, on those games. And wow. I, yeah, I originally wanted to do that. Uh, toward the my senior year of college, I kind of felt the call uh, to go and serve my country. So I joined the United States Navy right after I graduated from college. And, you know, I was also involved in politics too. So I was doing most of those things. Yeah, for uh, a good portion of my 20s. And uh, that led me, you know, to eventually meeting my wife and having a family and of course, moving here to uh, the Pacific Northwest. And uh, as I moved here and worked in those different fields, uh, continued to work a bit more in uh, the communications world uh, after I was uh, honorably discharged from the Navy. Uh, of course, working here in you know, the, arguably the technological capital of the world, you know, I got kind of bitten by the tech bug, uh, whether potentially going to jobs uh, that, with a communications background in the tech sector, or just trying to figure out ways uh, to help the world uh, and the human race move forward with technology. That's what eventually led me uh, to here, to Domo Gym. I mean, every step that we go through in life, it leads us to where we're ultimately supposed to be. So yeah, that's great. And I guess also it gives you the skills, like having wanting to be a broadcaster also gives you the skills to communicate your brand, which is great, right? So what you're doing right now. So very nice. You know, we're in the midst of a pandemic. Um, so I want to talk about how Domum Gym can help people because most people are sitting at home for multiple hours or working from home. So sometimes gyms are closed. So let's talk about how Dolan Gym can help them. Right. So, you know, we kind of come from the approach of several things. One, uh, we know that gyms, uh, brick and mortar gyms are going to continue to exist. And uh, certainly we're not looking to replace that. However, uh, since the pandemic started and even now, as there are, you know, whether there are different variants of the virus that come in and come out and that are keeping people from sometimes, you know, wanting to go outside, we feel like there's a market for that. So Domo Gym is supposed to you know, fulfill that time when you don't want to go to the gym, uh, not just in these times with the pandemic, but also to uh, in other times when, like, you know, I brought up my wife and bring up other people uh, who are too busy to incorporate, you know, going to a brick and mortar gym in their schedule. And, you know, the stats uh, say that 42 to 62 percent of uh, people have mentioned uh, that they uh will incorporate some sort of home workout uh, permanently to their uh, you know, fitness regimen uh, since the beginning of the pandemic. So that's the reason uh, why we think a Domo Gym will work uh, and why it's continuing to grow right now. In addition to the fact too, as you, know, you being up in Toronto, 
me being up in Seattle, uh, it's the winter time. <laughs> and, yes. uh, there are some folks who, uh, you know, there are folks who I follow and I know who, who are who are warriors and they go out and they want to work out, you know, when there's snow everywhere. Um, I, I struggle with that. I don't know about you, but I struggle with that. Oh, doing- I do, I do. <laughs> so that's another great reason why Jomo Gemma exists at this time. Yeah, absolutely. Especially in Toronto, it's uh, freezing cold and the snow is, you know, starting. So, I mean, I really respect those people that, you know, put their winter jacket on and go out to the gym. But this is definitely a lot easier, right? It's an easier approach to just work out in the comfort of your home. Let's talk about the different workouts that you guys have. I know you have a wide array of uh, workouts. Oh, yeah. So we've got hit workouts, oh. you know, high intensity interval training. Uh, that's what that means. We got TRX workouts. Uh, we also have, uh, like I was talking about planks and calisthenics and stretches and other workouts too. And, you know, we're incorporating a bunch more onto uh, the website. A uh, great thing too is we also have videos for tips on how to grow and build your body, especially if you're a guy. Um, and especially if you love using the gym, we have workouts uh, that give you tips uh, for that as well. Uh, that's really the great thing about Domo Gym. You know, we're kind of building ourselves to be a one-stop shop and our aim is to be the YouTube of fitness uh, for the entire world and we've got all these different workouts that people can try that they can use and hey even if they are open to it some folks can even upload uh, workouts of their own to the site as well yeah speaking of that I was gonna say that um, your website also allows fitness content creators to upload content which is fantastic so how does that work and do they get paid for it Yes, uh, there are both of that. I should say it works really well. Uh, We actually have wonderful videos on how it works. Uh, The main thing is, like I said, we're trying to be the YouTube of fitness that works just like YouTube. You you find our website, you log on, and you go to, uh, there's uh, at the very, very top, you know, there's a place in our banner where you can click onto it, sign on, and once you sign in, there's a camera right next to the search bar. You click onto that camera and that's where you can upload videos. And if you want to be a content creator, uh, that's easy peasy. You know, the great thing about Domo Gym, uh, you know, we haven't talked about other fitness uh, sites or fitness apps out there. But the great thing about our site is just like YouTube and Facebook, and Instagram and anywhere else, anyone in the world can upload videos. You can upload videos, Dario. I can upload videos. Anyone in the world can upload uh, fitness videos to the site. So you simply do that. And in terms of getting paid, uh, the beauty of Domo Gym is that you get paid per subscriber. Now, my wife, she has her own YouTube channel and she's talked to me about how much she's loved it, but it's taken her years to get to the point where she's uh, getting her content monetized because uh, it's more of an aggregate and you have to wait until you build a great following. At Domo Gym, you know, the opposite uh, is true. You don't need to wait until you build a following. The second someone clicks subscribe, uh, you, you the customer pays to follow them and you the fitness content creator instantly makes money off of them. And uh, the price is $9.99. So that's a pretty competitive rate. Uh, it's one of the lowest in the entire world. And the, also the other added fact too is fitness content creators make 60% off of our company's profits so all in around uh, it's a pretty simple and also pretty good deal yeah absolutely and you also mentioned that it's ad free which is great since mm-hmm. most of the sites have ads in between so let's, let's talk about that concept of not having ads right so that's something that we did in our initial market research you know uh when i reached out to a lot of people when i was looking up the data and you know asking folks uh around uh, the internet and what do some folks want to see less of in social media and that's the thing they want to see less ads you know they mentioned that the ads are annoying i know you mentioned that at the beginning of this interview yes. <laughs> that the ads are annoying um the, the ads they do have a purpose and we do intend to place ads onto Joma gym eventually but the thing is those ads will never ever 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 and, and i'm on tape right now so you know i'm <laughs> my word they'll never ever ever be on the videos themselves they'll always be separate uh you know separate videos that'll play once you're on the, the home screen or you're on a, a video and they're kind of playing on the side so that's the beauty about it you know we really listen to what the people want and they want less ads not any if at all and domo gym we're striving to make sure that that's not at all mm-hmm. And what I really want to commend you for is creating a company during the pandemic. 
Uh, mm -hmm. A lot of people use this time to create companies and I, I think that's really admirable. So what are some challenges that you faced when creating your brand during this time? Well, several things is uh, you have to take into uh, account that with a lot of different companies, you know, uh, try to believe that there isn't such a thing as monopoly. Uh, we already have a good number of competitors, obviously, and they do really great work, but trying to think, well, what can we do that's different? What can we do that's better? And, you know, the other thing too is also thinking about what the world needs. You know, I talked before about using a phrase, you know, pushing the human race forward. You know, that's the thing that I love about Domum Gym. Domum Gym is not just another, you know, social media a uh, video platform website where people can be silly. Not that that isn't a bad thing, you know. <laughs> I mentioned I've got a two-year-old little girl and I, I believe it's important to be silly sometimes, but also to create something that is something that can really push the human race forward, that can improve people's lives, that can, you know, make them better, that can help improve them, uh, especially health-wise. And, you know, it's, it's not just candy, it's actually something that's vegetables. It's, it's protein. It's something that's going to help build them up and sustain them for the rest of their lives. So that's really the thing that uh, you know, drove me to create this, uh, despite the challenges, despite uh, you know the competition we have, uh, despite the fact that you know there are folks who might not be uh, so inclined, and also are mentioning, well, there are other websites, and you know there's YouTube, and you know, there's all these other things. And those are the things that really uh, inspired me to push forward. Uh, despite uh, the potential challenges and some of the challenges that there have been. Mm -hmm. And that's really fitting because the intro of my show today is about being of service to the world. And most of the companies that do well or people are the people that are of service, whether that's inspiration, uh, like you getting people healthier, you know, through workouts, anything like that is always what uh, makes a successful company. So I think that's really good that what you're doing. I wanna talk about what's one piece of advice that you would share for our audience to create a successful brand? Well, the first one, of course, is to do the research. You know, you have to see to make sure that your company can actually be of something that people will need. The other thing too is to try to find what exactly is the edge that you have over your competitors. What is it that makes you unique? And then the last thing is, you know, I've discovered this uh, before I got into the uh, the private sector. Uh, you know, you kind of learn this lesson in the military uh, back in college. You know, and I, I'm not going to try to spread uh, or try to convert anyone, but I went to a religious university, and you know, the volunteer work that we did. Uh, you're trying to be of service to someone, and ultimately, kind of also to what you were saying, you want to create a company, an organization that, yes, we, we're trying to make a profit but that's only gonna make the world a better place. So those three things, you know, uh, do your research and you know, to also make sure you can uh, find what your edge is that makes you different from, uh, you know, your peers. And then lastly, to make sure your company is, is something that can make the world a better place. Because if it's all those three things, then I have no doubt, no doubt at all. And maybe you can call me a, an eternal optimist, but I have no doubt at all that you will succeed. Now it might not happen overnight, but yeah. you will ultimately succeed. Absolutely. And you have to be an optimist to be an entrepreneur, right? That's exactly. the one thing you have to keep going and you will be successful if you stay the course. So I think that's that's great advice. And for our viewers that want to know more about Domum Gym and um, do some workouts, where can they find out more about your company? Sure, sure. So our website is www.domumgym.com. So Domum Gym is spelled D as in dog. O is in Oscar, M is in Mike, U is in uniform, M is in Mike again, and then G Y M, like a gym, domumgym.com. And, you know, we have, uh, we've uh, remodeled the website a little bit, so it's a, a bit easier to, you know, find our about section. It's also easier to, to upload workouts or to just watch workouts or to sign up and join if you want to go beyond the free option and uh, to subscribe. And we have a lot of wonderful people from all over the world. Uh, to have contributed videos onto Joe and Jim uh, to, to make sure that our site is something that can be used by everyone. So yeah, you can come onto our website. And we also have, of course, our Instagram page. We have our uh, Twitter page. And we also have our Facebook page. Uh, and all of that has a, you know, a lot of stuff, too, about the, the website as well. So yeah, uh, you can come onto our website and uh, t you know, also attend to our social media channels. And of course, we'd love to have anyone there. 
Yeah, and your website looks great, by the way. I did take a look and I did see all these different content creators. There's such a wide array of different people doing these workouts. So I really like that. <laughs> yeah, we've got, a, like I mentioned, got people all over the world. You know, we've got a guy from Georgia. We've got a guy from New York City. We've got another person from Finland. We've got folks from the Middle East as well. It's really a, an awesome endeavor. Very nice. And we're going to link all that information on your website and, um, yeah, for our viewers to check it out. Thank you so much, Luke, for being on the show today. Keep up the amazing work, and we hope to have you back on the show soon. Thanks, Daryl. <laughs> Thank happy you all. holidays. Oh, happy holidays to you, too, as well. <laughs> All right, great. Thank you so much. Tag TV is available on Roku, Amazon Fire TV, Apple and Android TVs, as well as on Apple and Android phones. Watch us live through YouTube and Facebook.